Hi everyone, Imran here with another tutorial on how to install Stag OS custom ROM on your Google Pixel 7 or Pixel 7 Pro. Whether you are new to the world of custom ROMs or an experienced user, we have got you covered. In this video, I will guide you through the entire installation process step by step, making it easy for beginners to follow along. Stag OS is a popular custom ROM based on the latest Android 13 and offers a smooth, stable experience with a wide range of customization options. So let's get started on how to install this custom ROM on your Google Pixel 7. I have already published a step-by-step -step guide on our website progeeksblog.com. The link is given in the description of this video where I have given all the requirements, instructions and download links for the custom ROM and in the ADB and fastboot commands you need to safely and successfully place the Stag OS ROM on your phone. Now here is the requirements first you need to unlock the bootloader. Here is the video tutorial as well. The link will be given in the description of this video to first unlock the bootloader on your device. Also, you need to download and install the Google Platform tools. Please do not download the latest version R34 because it has some bugs. Download the R33.03. Now, here is the download section where you will find the download links for Pixel 7. Both have different versions. So, if you have Pixel 7 Pro, then download the correct firmware for your phone. Now it also has two versions, one is non-GAPS and the other is GAPS build. If you plan to use Google Apps, then you download the GAPS build, otherwise download the non-GAPS version. I have also linked to the official XDA thread. You can post there if you have any bugs or need further help. Here is all the download files. I have moved to a single folder. Now I will unzip the platform tools. Now here is the custom ROM file. You will get similar files. Cheetah is for Pixel 7 Pro. And Panther is for Pixel 7. So please download the correct firmware for your phone. Now also the USB drivers. If you haven't already installed the Google Pixel drivers on your PC, I would recommend you to install these drivers as well. Simply unzip this folder, open it and right click on android underscore win usb dot inf file and click on install. It will install the driver. Now here is the custom ROM file. Now we need to extract one file that is boot dot img file that we will be placing to both slots. So just drag it to the folder. and close the file. Now we also need to rename this file, this custom ROM file because it is longer. Plan to place it using adb command will be good to rename this folder. So it is now rom.zip. Now I will select these two files and move this to the platform tools folder. Right click and paste. Now all files are in the platform tools folder. Now on your phone, open the settings app, scroll down and tap on about phone, scroll down, tap on the bell number for about 7 times to enable developer options. Now go back. Tap on system, scroll down and here is the developer option, tap on it. Now scroll down. Now as I told you earlier, my bootloader is already unlocked and you need to unlock the bootloader first. Now scroll down and enable USB debugging. Allow USB debugging and tap OK. Now go back. 
Now placing a custom ROM or unlocking the bootloader wipes and erases all data on your device so it is highly recommended to back up your important data if you have anything on your phone. Now go back and connect your phone to PC. Now again on your PC, navigate to the platform tools folder in the address bar type cmd and it will open the command prompt. Now type adp devices and hit enter just to confirm if our phone is recognized or not. Now it is asking to allow USB debugging on your device, tap on it. Now again type adp devices. Now as you can see my phone is there. Now I will type adv reboot bootloader and enter. This command will reboot your phone into fast boot mode. Now my phone is now in fast boot mode. Now I will type fast boot devices just to check if my phone is recognized in fast boot mode as you can see phone is recognized in fast boot mode now i'll type fast boot flash boot underscore a boot dot img to flash the file that we have extracted from the firmware file and hit enter key Now we need to place this file to both slots so I will type another command fast boot place boot underscore b boot dot img and hit enter key now it is flushed to both slots I will type fast boot dash w now this command will erase and wipe data in cache partition on your device when placing a custom ROM, it is highly recommended to use this command. Finally, we are now ready to place the Steak OS custom ROM. Now I will type passport update dash ROM dot zip or I will drag the file to the command from window as you can see and hit enter and now it will start placing the custom ROM on your device. And now it will start flashing the Stag OS ROM on your Pixel 7. Now during this your phone will reboot as you can see and boot into custom recovery. You don't have to do anything. It will do it on its own. You just have to watch and please do not disconnect your device while it is installing the custom ROM. Now it will take around 5 to 6 minutes to complete this process and once completed your phone will reboot as you can see. Now when this ROM is installed bootloader will be locked so if you want to unlock the bootloader and root your phone I have made another tutorial. The link will be given in the description of this video if you want to root your phone. If you have found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. I will also try to upload more custom ROM for Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro. So please subscribe to our channel to get future updates.